In this video, we're going to go over the CP6, how it's used, how I put it on my layout, and what I use it for. Coming up right now. Today, I'm going to go over the NCE CP6. It's a great little device. I installed it the other day and it's been working great so far. I did have a 1157 bulb hooked up to my layout and what I found out was I have a power cab and this is a 2 amp bulb and my power cab is a 2 amp system so anytime I'd have a short it would trip the system before the bulb came on. When I got this after doing some research these are all 1 amp bulbs so pretty much half it cuts the, your protection down and gives you half the protection, which is, I guess, double the protection. I don't know. Either way, it helps you out a lot. It has one amp, so whenever there's a short, one of these bulbs, wherever the short is, will turn on. I have had a short happen when I forgot to throw a turnout the correct way, and the sound locomotive, the sound turns off, but one of these lights come on and once you fix the short everything goes back to normal it's great so this isn't a circuit breaker it's a circuit protector so a circuit breaker would pretty much do that make a gap in the uh, mechanism and stop the current flow whenever there's a short this light will come on so the short is expelled by heat and light until you fix the problem. If you don't fix the problem, if you leave it, the engine sitting there, it'll burn up the engine eventually. I don't know how long, I'm not gonna try it, but it will do that, because this is only a light, and it's only taken away as one amp of the problem. So if you keep it going, um, you'll have issues. But I have had it trip, this turns on, the power shuts off, the, the um, sound on the locomotive turns off, you fix the problem, this goes back to turned off and you're doing great. Now, how I hooked this up was I went straight from my power cab, NCE power cab, right into here. So this is my main power coming in. And then I have these tracks set up just for demonstration. So I would have this circuit right here. It would go to this track so this would be my main line this is a yard and this is my industries so i'd go from here to here here to here and then here to here and there'd be i'd have insulated joiners in each on each rail here to give it that break so you'd be wiring it directly to here so these would become your bus wires to the uh, sections that are insulated pretty simple straightforward i didn't understand any of this until i actually sat down and did it but it works out pretty well so you'll pretty much have your main power coming in and then you'll have these bus wires going to each section that you want protected so now i want to take you around the layout i'll kind of demonstrate on the top of the layout how everything's laid out and then we'll go full-on shaky cam underneath the layout and I'll show you how the bus wires ran. All right, so now I'm gonna go over how I ran the buses. So right here is my small yard. There is a bus going right under here to about this area. So then it comes up and under and goes to this one. And then my main bus, for my main line, it comes all the way around underneath this one. And goes all the way down there. So that's my biggest bus. It's a, hu a big U. So it like starts there, goes all the way around to the other side of the layout. That one comes right into here. And then this is going to be my main yard, which isn't hooked up yet, but that is right there where all that stuff is. So once that yard is all put in, then I'll run the uh, bus line to here. Now I put this 
CP6 here because most of my wires come into this area. When you do this, you're going to want to put this somewhere centrally located where a lot of your wires uh, run to. Also, this is my yard, or this is my industrial area. So this whole section here. So I have all the wires wired there, and they all come down and over. This is the way, the direction my bus line runs and comes up into here. Next, I'll bring you underneath the layout and show you what the wiring looks like. Trust me, it's not clean. It's a little messy, but here we go. So let's see if we can see this from underneath the layout. This is my main bus wire for my main line, and this is my bus wire, this black and white one, for the small entry yard that I have. They both come over to this wire terminal. So you can see the black and white right there from the small yard. And this is for my main bus line. This one and this one. And then I have... Then I have this red and white and this red and white running down and going into my CP6 up there. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit to see how it's wired underneath the layout. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for the shaky cam, but I wanted to show you kind of where on my layout it came from, how the bus lines are run, and what it looks like underneath the layout. So thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you remember it makes sense if you don't think about it. So don't think. It's so much easier.